Yes, you are. Yes, 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 yes. Can you see me? You can. Uh, yes. Okay, if great. If you can. You, you. So, Vito, we are. Shh. Vito, we are just getting started. And. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I just first want to say thank you to you and to Thierry Pichot and Richard Gaston for the very kind invitation to participate in what arguably is the premier European meeting uh, on robotics and laparoscopy. And it's been such a pleasure to be your friend and colleague over the past 15 years as you have led this entire thing. So uh, with that, uh, I want to, we are still putting in the ports, et cetera, et cetera. But let me just, uh, have you been shown the CAT scan of this patient? No, not yet. Okay, so we should not show yet. you the CAT scan, and uh, can we? Can you see this? No. How are we going to do it? Partially. <laughs> what is this? So this is yes. a nice case. Uh, the patient yes, is 73 yes. years old, and his serum creatinine is normal. And uh, uh, serum creatinine is normal. Prior history of hypertension and coronary artery disease. He's had coronary stenting. He's otherwise uh, nice and thin. And uh, he has a, how big is this tumor, guys? A about, huh? About a four centimeter, completely intrarenal, mid-pole, central hyalur tumor. So can you see the scan? Yes. Can, okay, fine. So let me just start from here. So this is the liver. This is the spleen. This is the right kidney. You can see the right adrenal is nice and thin and feathery. So that's good. Here is the right kidney coming up. right kidney coming up so far so good so far so good here is the superior mesenteric artery aorta vena cava so far so good vena cava aorta here is the left renal vein here is the right renal artery right renal artery we'll get to that in a second let's just look at the kidney first so, so far the kidney is good. Here is the tumor. You see that, Vito? Yes. Okay, here's the tumor. This is the tumor. Right here. All this is the tumor in the center of the kidney, right here. All this is the tumor. Right in the central sinus. Nice case. Yeah, lovely. That's what I said. Beautiful. Look at this. So it is little irregular. See that? Little irregular contour. Completely intrarenal. Yes. Here is the tumor. All this is tumor. You can see, uh, I, I'll go over the art, sub, uh, vascularity of this in a little while. But let's just look at the... Let's look at the contour of the tumor right here. So it is almost to the surface, posteriorly, see that? Right up to here. So it is pretty much at the surface. Here is the tumor. Here is the tumor. Yeah. And here is the tumor. Here is the tumor. So now let's look at the vascularity. Here is an artery going straight into the tumor posteriorly, arterial branch, posterior branch. You can see this posterior branch going straight into the tumor, which obviously will need to be taken. Okay, so the posterior branch needs to go. Here is an anterior branch. 
anterior branch. So this is the anterior division of the posterior branch, and this is the anterior uh, artery itself. Here we go. So now let's look at the artery. That's the right renal artery. Right renal artery. Right renal artery bifurcating here. And bifurcating, this is the posterior branch, this is the anterior branch. Here it goes, here it goes. Let's just follow the anterior branch. Okay, so this actually is now bifurcating into the posterior, and here is the anterior. Here is a branch going straight to the tumor. Here is the main renal artery, literally at the interface of the tumor and the kidney. See that? So here is the tumor interface. Tumor contour, tumor contour, that is the kidney, is and this the is the kidney, kidney tumor, tumor interface, kidney, interface tumor, kidney, and the main renal artery is right the there. Artery is right there. And I don't know if there's a little branch and here, but obviously, branch, to save this kidney, this artery will need to be saved, or otherwise, this kidney is non-viable. Here is the posterior branch, now here is a little circumflex branch, that I, looks to me like it's right on the edge of the tumor, if not actually in the tumor. Here is the, here's another little branch here. Here's the bigger branch. This one is fine. Here supplies goes here. Hopefully we can tease this off. Uh, but then this is, this one is going straight into it. You can see that, right? And this one is totally going straight into the tumor. So, I mean, clearly, this tumor is about a four and a half centimeter or so tumor that is replacing the central part of the kidney. And uh, this kind of a tumor, we would typically tell the patient there's a 50, 60 percent chance that this will be a radical nephrectomy. Um, his opposite kidney is fine, opposite uh, uh, adrenal is fine. Obviously, it's a, a challenging case, but I was just wondering what are your comments? I was just wondering what are your comments? I would like to know, it's very challenging. I would like to know uh, which is your plane of attack. Are you going to through the hilum or are you going to the point where the kidney is near the surface? So our plan is going Which to be, is plan? our plan is going to be, we are going to go transperitoneally and we have uh, the robot, SI robot docked and we have, you know, two assistant ports um, and uh, uh, so we are going to go reflect the colon and the small bowel medially, retract the ureter and the gonadal vein laterally, follow the psoas to the main renal hilum, at that point uh, uh, get vessel loops around the main renal artery and main renal vein and then uh, circumferentially mobilize the kidney. Uh, free the ureter of the kidney, uh, circumferentially mobilize it, and we'll have to rotate it uh, 180 degrees such that the posterior surface becomes anterior, uh, upper pole becomes lower pole, so complete rotation 180 degrees, and then perform an intraoperative ultrasound, uh, score the tumor, and then take it from there. Um, uh, basically, uh, we will obviously be clamping uh, the main renal artery, main renal vein, and do some dissection to see if we can find the posterior branch that is going straight into the tumor. We can just take that up front and uh, then basically go through the uh, scored area of resection and see what we get uh, if the kidney, if, the, if we can get the tumor off the kidney and yet retain some vascularity, then we will, you know, probably stay with the partial. On the other hand, if during surgery, if I really feel that the uh, arterial supply, etc., is so tightly uh, connected with the tumor that teasing it off is, uh, is oncologically not adequate, we will just do a radical nephrectomy. This is one case where you don't want to indulge in major heroics. He's 73, he has a coronary history. His creatinine is fine, his opposite kidney is fine. And while a partial would be good, it is not critical. And so our threshold for converting to a radical nephrectomy uh, would be low. 
if, if he had somewhat greater cardiac issues or was obese, etc., etc., we would just do a radical nephrectomy right off the bat. And I, I would not criticize anybody who said, uh, uh, why even try a partial, just do a radical. So that would be a very uh, a logical uh, point, and uh, I would have no uh, um, a pr a problem with that approach either. Thank you very much, Indy. We are going to switch to the lectures here. Okay, we are going to get started here.
Thank you. There's literally zero sound on the bipolar. Please. Yeah, that's Jordan. Eva. Why is it taking so long to turn up the sound, guys? What? Well, that's not an acceptable answer. I don't want to have a bowel injury here while our friend is not coming here. I need that person here now. It is not a suggestion or a request. I need it. I don't want to have a bowel injury just because I need him here now. Nice anatomy, huh, right? Yeah. Little, little pesky vessels, but nice anatomy. So far, so good. That's right, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Right, they have these very nice five millimeter clip clip pliers too. Check it out, metal clip pliers. Yeah, check it out. Right, you like it. Let's. Uh... Okay, I'm ready for the fourth arm. Fourth arm, please. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, that is much better. Let me just check that bipolar also. Perfetto. Magnifique. Do that, please. Vessel loop ready. Pull back just a little bit in section. Easy. See, there's some blood vessels there. Easy. Vessel loop. Perfect. Okay, another clip. No, no, I'm going to put it here. Hang on. Put it, yeah, put it around the vein here. Perfect. Perfect. Great job, Raid. As always. Wet clip, please, or metal clip, whatever.
Hit the whole thing. Hit it. Perfect. Right now, I'm just going to mobilize the kidney. Are we live on the screen or no? Okay, I am happy to talk to Vito. This is subcapsular, huh? A little bit, maybe? Adrenal area. That's the adrenal, see that? Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Over here first. Yeah, perfect. Right, it's such a pleasure. Such a pleasure working together. I agree with Sarah. You need to be in LA, man.
It's a little bit of camel injury. Good.
Okay, can I have the ultrasound, Dr. please? Gil. Hi, yes. Hi, I'm Vincenzo Ficarra. Nice to see you, uh, your operation. We are now connected. We had a little bit of problem to connect with you. Okay. And please, can you explain uh, us a little bit uh, uh, the step of the, of the procedure? Yeah, Vincenzo, very nice to hear your voice. It's a pleasure. Um, so my question is, have you seen anything so far or nothing yet? A little bit we see uh, during the presentation of Andrea Minervini, but uh, if you can uh, summarize uh, all the previous steps, okay. uh, you can help the, okay, thank uh, you. The, okay. the auditorium. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. So hang on. So uh, you, you have seen the tumor, right? Uh, on the CT. In this moment, we have not... We no, have, uh, yes, on, on, yes, the CT, on the CT, yeah. Yes. Okay. So now, here's what we have done. Here is the right kidney, okay? And yes. so here is the colon. And here is yes. the duodenum. Duodenum. Here's the vena cava. Yeah. The liver is yeah. retracted up. Liver is retracted up. And this is the... Okay. This is the renal vein. Yes. And... This is the renal artery. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And here is the ureter. The ureter is in here. The ureter is here. Okay. Okay. Here is the ureter. You can see that. Ureter. Okay. And the right okay. ad adrenal gland is. This is the right adrenal gland. So we freed up the kidney here. Perfect. We freed up the kidney here. So basically, it is critical to free up the ureter from the lower pole of the kidney if you have to rotate the kidney. This has to be disconnected or you cannot rotate it well. And of course, it has to be freed from here. Then uh, we have left a little fat intentionally over here as a handle. And here is the kidney mm -hmm. now being flipped around. Easy, easy, easy. Let go, let go. Mm -hmm. Don't do it, please, let go. Right? Yes. Chief, I need you back here. Okay, so here is the kidney now flipped around. The kidney now flipped. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is the upper pole is here, lower pole is here, and this is the posterior surface of the kidney we are looking at. Uh, again, here is the ureter. Here is the ureter. Mm -hmm. And uh, here is a posterior branch of the artery I can see here. See that? Mm -hmm. But I am not going yeah, to do anything excellent. to it. I'm not going to do anything to it yet. Now we are going to do ultrasound to score the area of the tumor. So ultrasound, please. All right. Now show me how to do that. Can you just tell me, Tulio, when you can see it. Yeah. Can you well, see it now? It would be nice because this is a no, no, no. We don't see anything. Now it's okay. now. Now we have the ultrasound on, uh, okay, on great. the screen. Okay, great. Great. So good. So here is the tumor you can see, right? Yes. In the center of the screen is the tumor. So we are now going to start scoring. Absolutely right. That is out. That is out. That's true. Okay. So this is tumor, and that's where it finishes. Humor, that's where it finishes, so. Okay, ultrasound, that's the tumor. I'm scoring, I'm trying to get it here. So that's where the tumor goes away, right? So tumor, 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 no tumor. Okay, so then no I, okay. I'm scoring it. And again, that is the tumor now. Now we're going to the other side. Tumor, 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 no tumor. Can we, can we have the intro? Can we have the intraoperative picture, please? So then you can't see the ultrasound. It's one it. or the other. Yeah, but so uh, here is how the, are you scoring? Are you just? Yeah, I'll, I'll, some, I'll uh, show it to you. Here's the tumor. Yeah. Okay. Tumor, 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 no tumor. Okay, so now I'm scoring it where there's no tumor. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to see. Okay, could we show them the intraoperative picture now? 
Are we you are seeing? on the inter intraoperative picture. Great, yes, excellent. Yes. So now you just have to take my word for it. Tumor, 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 no tumor. Okay, again, tumor, 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 no tumor. Okay, so now let's check the rest of the kidney. So this is the rest of the kidney looking nice and clean. Nice and clean. That's the tumor, tumor, all tumor, all tumor, all tumor. Out of the tumor now. So that is, and this is the remainder kidney, renal. That looks good. All this is cancer. or more accurately, tumor. All right, so that should do it. You can get the ultrasound out, please. Okay. Uh, so listen, I think we should get the ultrasound back, please, one more time. Ultrasound back, please. Sorry, my fault. Thank you. Okay, so. No, no need. Just show them this. So here, here's the tumor now. Tumor. All tumor. All tumor. All tumor. Gone. So it's gone here at this spot. Tumor. Tumor out. So basically connecting this dot from here over here. So over here we've scored up to there. Let's check this. This is all tumor. So we'll just have to go. Tumor. So literally up to there. All right. Okay, you can take the ultrasound out, please. Let me just connect the dots here. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, we are good, ready to get started now. So one strategy would be to dissect out this artery first and then start the partial. Maybe I'll do that just a little bit. I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to take anything here because, because... If I remember well, if I remember well, at the CT scan, this artery is very in contact with the tumor. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually supplying the tumor. It's actually yeah, feeding the yeah. tumor. So we, if I find it's, a uh, branch, then I'll take it. Yeah. If I don't find a branch, then I'm not going to take this. This is too big an artery. And we shall just yeah. see how it goes. What do you think about the possibility to have a three-dimensional reconstruction before this uh, surgery? So we will talk about, yeah, I, I would love to do that. But we'll talk about the hypotheticals later. I just want to do the surgery now. Suction here, nice and gentle. Good. 
Raid, you're back in the controls? Okay. Okay, come on in because we're going to get started here pretty soon. I cannot have four conversations in the room, please. I'm sorry. Suction, suction, nice and gentle. Thank you. Okay. So you can see this is where we have to take the kidney up to there. Yeah. So, I mean, this artery is going straight in there. But no reason for us yeah. to take it right now. We will take it a little bit inside, yeah. okay? So basically, this part of the kidney has to go. This part of the, this part of the kidney has to go. And let's see if we can dissect the vessels of the intrarenal part of the, intrarenal part of the tumor. That's what we have to see. Yeah. Indy, will you use a Firefly? Yeah, absolutely. This would be a great one for Firefly, but unfortunately, uh, uh, this this particular robot does not have Firefly capability. Okay. Otherwise, if you decided to clamp directly the main artery, perhaps Firefly is not necessary, no? No, it is necessary because if ever, if ever a Firefly is going to be necessary, it's in, in a case like this because uh, the vascularity of the renal remnant needs to be confirmed. And it is not a guarantee that there's going to be good vascularity after we take everything that needs to be taken. So I, I would do the Firefly at the end of the case after completing the uh, repair and revascularization to see if everything is okay. Suction, please. Suction, please. Nice and gentle. Good. Okay, I think we should just now go for it. This one clearly will need to go. So we'll figure it out on the fly. Okay, bulldog, please. <clears throat> We're going to put a bulldog on the artery and the vein. Because I don't want back bleeding or all that good stuff. Okay. The strategy so. to clamp the vein is because you are on the right side, or uh, oh, it's it a could very be the same also. If it's a very central hilar tumor, as you saw, and yeah. uh, there is absolutely going to be back bleeding because we are going to be cutting into the main renal vein here. So uh, you know. And, Okay, great. You don't have the robotic? No. Okay, fine. Open more. Beautiful. Hang on. Hit it. Perfect. Excellent. One more, please. Okay, somebody can note the ischemia time now. What's the time, guys? 10-11, 10, 11. 10 11, okay. The, the renal vein bulldog is optional, but uh, not a bad idea in this one. Would you do also a clamping on the left side it, of the it. renal vein? And that's it. Okay, guys. Raid, you ready? Raid, you ready? Okay. Have your wet clips ready too? Put a big wreck here. Wreck here. Beautiful. Great. Steve. 
ofrendas. Ah, uh, no Good job, right? Beautiful, hit it. Perfect. Okay. So let's see. So this is going straight in here, right? Uh -huh. Right, right, just that. Hit it. Good. Come on up. Come on. Perfect. Sorry. This is going straight in too. Piccolo. Piccolo. Right, you agree? Right? You agree? This is going straight to the tumor too, right here. So just take that branch. We may need to take this entire Excellent. artery, but not right now. Beautiful, perfect, hit it, hit it, perfect. One second. All tumor, right? Perfect. Trying to release it. So right, maybe a quick one here, right there, just that, beautiful. That's tumor. Okay. 
A quick wreck, just that. Good. Rick, please. Perfect. Great job, right? By the way, uh, with me operating is uh, Professor Raid Azhar. He is the president of the Saudi Arabian Urologic Association and the preeminent robotic surgeon in the Middle East. He, he was with us at USC. So, right, this one is going straight to the tumor, right? I mean, there's no way. So, Vincenzo, you can see that, right? I mean, there's no way, Tulio, that this, this artery can be preserved and this tumor can be removed. You yeah. agree? Absolutely. Okay, good. So, we wanted no to have that 100% confirmation before we take it. One more, please. <laughs> because, you know, I, I, that's why we took just that branch and just that branch initially to be 100 percent sure that now this artery is supplying this part of the kidney and the tumor and has to go. Good. Excellent. Very nicely done, Raheed. So it breaks my heart to take that artery, but that's the way God built this tumor. So, Indy, now you are just on the on the capsule, like Andrea just uh, showed us in the in his presentation. Yeah. So there is no parenchyma here. This is in the central sinus, of course. Yes. We see it very clearly, and we see the fibrotic tissue which covers the the tumor. There might be another branch. Just over here. So, right, I think we should take this. This is now not letting me operate the fourth arm. See if you can not take the whole, okay, go ahead. Little further up, further up, hit it, hit it. Oh, it's actually the collecting system. Mm -hmm. You read to catheter. So we'll take off that uh, clip little in a little while. Yep. 
Yep. So we'll get the, don't touch that yet. So we will correct that. Typically, we use bariatric ports for some of our robotic ports to get more distance and avoid this kind of clashing. Mm -hmm. But we don't have bariatric ports here. Okay, go ahead, whack it. Do you have some experience with the absorb block? Whack it, please. Yeah, go ahead, get that. Nice and deep. Hit it. One more here. One second, right? Let me see if we can spare this. Go ahead, put the wet clip right there. Mm -hmm. Flip it. Flip it 180 degrees. Yep, now do it. Hit it. Okay, that looks fine. Quick wet clip here. Beautiful. I'll take out the scissors before you go down. Hit it. Good shot. Do that. And right, this looks fine. So what do you think? This is fat, right? Yeah. I mean, this is tumor. Yeah. That's a little capsular breach. And uh, we will go yeah. here. That's the collecting system. Let's do it from that side now. Got it? See, my left arm is fighting the, okay, do you do that, perfect. My left arm is just non-functional. I wish my left arm was usable. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, now let's see. This this was the area of concern. Mm -hmm. That is tumor too. Huh? That's a tongue of tumor. See that right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is a small tumor thrombus. Either that. I mean, that's an artery. If I keep taking everything, I'm just going to devascularize the kidney. Clear the uh, tumor thrombus. Suction yes, in the, in the vein. Yeah, suction please. In the vein, correct. And the most important is I want to save this artery, okay. if one can. Okay, here's a set. Hang on. Little correction there. Okay, now the question is, right, this thing, main question is, can we save this artery? That's the only thing left now. And I don't think so. I mean, look at this. This is going straight to the tumor, guys, agree? Okay, clip it. Yeah. Yes. Clip it. So this is where Firefly would come in really handy. Go ahead. Hit it. Yeah. Hit it.
but you have no alternative. Yeah, to get this tumor out. So I am comfortable with the margins. <clears throat> Vascularity is a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Bag? Yeah. Here is the thrombus. Yeah. Here is the thrombus. Okay, back please. Okay, time so far guys. 23 minutes of uh, tumor excision time. Here we go, let's go. <clears throat> it is coming, so in that case I can't wait. Okay, go ahead, needle driver, needle driver. And I'll take the V lock, okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is anchor with a couple stitches, then we go unclamp the vein. Stitch whenever you can. See these little seconds are not good. Okay, right suction, please. Oh my God, what kind of a wheel clip is that? Okay, that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to prepare that stitch. Okay, now I'm going to unclamp the vein and see what bleeds and suture that. Okay. Good. This is not a suture cutting, suture cut needle driver? Don't have, okay. If we don't have, then we don't have. But we should have. What's the clamp time so far? 27 minutes. I'll take this off in a little bit. I'm just going to do a test on clamping to see what's bleeding and really go for that. Okay, we are unclamped, guys. Ischemia time? 28. 28 minutes. Kidney is P. 
pinking up, which is a good thing. So the hemostasis is not because there is no arterial supply. It's because the clips work in allowing us to do this. <laughs> See, we were strategic in our wet clip placement and so, uh, Tulio and Vincenzo, you can see that I have sutured barely 15% of the kidney, and yet the hemostasis mm -hmm. is not bad. And that's because as one was doing the partial, one was being careful to any larger intrarenal vessel that one would see, one would clip it in advance, and while it certainly takes 10 extra seconds per clip, but on the other side, when you unclamp, uh, it gives you a huge savings in ischemia time. Uh, I have to do a lot of suturing still, but at least it's in the unclamped kidney now, and uh, the ischemia time, therefore, has been reduced significantly because of these clips. Now, each wet clip will be under sewn. So there is no possibility of the wet clips migrating into the collecting system. We will under sew each wet <laughs> clip. Cut, please. <clears throat> At least this part is nice and pink. This part is not. We shall see. So, you know, Firefly would have come in very, very handy right now. Another stitch, please. So, so give me the, give me the three zero, huh? Did not? Okay, here you go. Okay, SH130, please, and suction. Clamped. There is no major issue. Okay, irrigation, please. So now my concern here is any suturing I do, it, it has, every stitch has the potential to mess up a blood vessel that's underneath. Yet hemostasis is critical. Okay, so we can take that. So that's one area. What else can you identify? That's really the main spot there. Did it get? Get this wet clip out, please. And somebody needs to pull the ureteral catheter down a little bit. Somebody needs to get in there and... Hang on one second. Go. Pull the ureteral catheter out a little bit, please. Pull it five centimeters down. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, good. Five centimeters down. I mean, the, the resident should do it. Uh, the nurse may not know exactly what to do. Your all the resident should do it or, or okay, perfect. Excellent. Little bit more. That's it. Good. Merci. Merci, Buko. I think I got that right. I need to close off the collecting system. I'd really much rather be doing this with the SH-130, more delicate stitch, but they didn't have it. Okay, so now we're gonna keep going here. Okay, right the irrigation, please. That's a very wimpy irrigation. Well, the bleeding's a good sign. What do you say, Raid? I don't want to suture too much. Irrigation. See, a little faster irrigation would really help identify pinpoint stitches here. But we don't have that. Okay, got it? Very important to follow the curve of the needle, especially in a vascularized kidney or else it'll bleed like stink. So the lower pole is not looking too happy. See that, that's not looking too happy at all. Although the front is looking fine. The line of demarcation is right there. You see that? Tulio, Vincenzo, what do you say, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, that's yes, the line of see. demarcation. So a little, little bit of collateral damage you know, some innocent civilians are going to die, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging out in the wrong neighborhood is not a good idea. Some innocents are going to take a hit.
Ok, irrigación. A little Venus ooze here, which is really not that big a deal. I feel comfortable we ought to be able. I, I think at this point, more suturing is likely to cause more problems rather than help us. At, yeah. least, at least from I the with you. kidney perspective. So we are going to bolster. And we're going to depend on our good friend, the bolster, to come through for us. That's a good one. I am trying at least to be strategic in my stitches. Okay, that's it, no more. I think we got it. Go ahead. Cut, please. Okay, I like it. I mean, there's pinkness right there. Good. And there's pinkness right there, so that's good. A little bit of posterior branches, obviously. Okay, go ahead, guys. Uh, bolster stitches, three of them, four of them. I think it's looking good. Suction, suction, get the clot out. And is flow seal ready? We is good. <clears throat> Three stitches, four stitches. Let's go, guys. No putzing around now. Let's go. Yeah. Keep them coming. This is a 3 0, right? Yes? Right? No, we don't want that. I want the bolster stitch, a 2 0. <laughs> Three zeros too small, it's going to cut through. Much better. You want to make sure your bolster stitch is a substantial stitch? And just so that everybody knows, the reason I have not put the tumor in the bag is because we don't have an automatic opening bag. To put it in the bag is going to take me five minutes, and I don't want to take those five minutes right now. Normally, at home, we would have the tumor in the bag as soon as we cut it out. In this kind of a situation. Let's go. Beautiful. Keep them coming. And see, I'm taking my stitch coming out pretty low, this needle tip. It's not coming out from here. It's coming out from here. That's because I want to make sure there's good compression with the bolster pretty deep. Right, please keep suctioning if you can. I'm taking reasonably substantial bites here because I do not want this cutting through. Stitch, please. Okay, last one. Thank you. The angle is better with the left hand here.
I haven't specifically tested for watertight closure of the collecting system. I, I did put, uh, I did close that area, um, and I'm going to rely on the bolster a little bit to make sure there's no leak. Okay, bolster, please. <coughs> All right, good. Could I now get the flow seal, please? Suction first, flow seal next. Okay, flow seal. Why? We don't have flow seal ready? All right, guys, we don't have flow seal. So you might want to, uh, Vincenzo, now is a good time to ask questions. Let's have a discussion. Tulio, any questions, any comments? We're waiting for the flow seal. We are waiting for the flow seal, yeah. Nice, nice, uh, nice procedure. Um, very excellent. This section uh, was uh, fantastic. I think that uh, you uh, made the maximum in this case, uh, and it's acceptable also to have a little bit of uh, kidney uh, no preserved is normal. Uh, and I uh, agree with you with the possibility to do a partial uh, in this case in which you have an incidental thrombus in the vein. We demonstrated that when we published it in the yeah. AUA abstract. Uh, initial ex multi institutional experience in which we demonstrated that the uh, oncological outcomes uh, are similar to uh, radical yes. nephrectomy. That was a very nice paper from your side, so complimente. Thank you, thank you. And uh, my question is on the technical question. I have a little bit of experience with uh, use, use of the absorb block that is a, the same of uh, the amalog but uh, absorb block and uh, i think that in this case it could be a little bit uh, an help for uh, for us we, what is your opinion about a absorbable this? clips yes yes that's awesome i we don't have those in the us but that would be excellent so vincenzo look at this okay vincenzo look at this so this is the yes. thrombus see that that's the thrombus right yes. there and this is the entire tumor which was touching the uh, yeah. central sinus and we have intact capsule this here is the collecting system collecting system on the thrombus yes. oh sorry on the on the tumor and so there is you know uh, this is I, I like it over here looks good so literally the only parenchyma she has he has lost is right on top of the tumor but other than that we've sculpted it out pretty good and, uh, you know, so the parenchymal loss is this right here, plus whatever has been devascularized uh, when we, when we uh, extracted it. Since we're waiting for the flow seal, we just... We have just blue glue. Blue glue? Okay, whatever you have is fine. It's, yeah, because we use blue glue. Okay, fine. Okay. I'll take whatever you have. In, yeah. So instead of flow seal, we're going to use something else, and uh, we're happy to do that. Okay, how do we do this? How do we close this? Huh? Clip it? Okay, clip it then. Beautiful. Hit it. One more. So yes, uh, 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 absorbable clip would be excellent. Again, I want to emphasize that uh, <coughs> Uh, our strategy here was to uh, nicely score the tumor with ultrasound, and then <clears throat> in a planned way, first I deepened the uh, scoring of the, the margin of resection. I deepened it circumferentially just to free up the area a little bit. And then we went from the hilum towards the kidney, not from the kidney towards the hilum, and thereby just following the main renal artery, Initially, we just took uh, <clears throat> uh, the branches of the renal artery until we were convinced 
that that uh, posterior branch is supplying the entire tumor and cannot be salvaged. Until then, we did not take it. We took it only it was absolutely confirmed. First some suction, please. First some suction, please. That uh, this tumor cannot be removed without taking the artery. Until then, we did not take the artery. Uh, <clears throat> again, the downside of using wet clips during resection are twofold. One is it takes time. And secondly, uh, the potential for yeah, migration for into the collecting system. And that's why we undersaw the wet clips. You will also notice that putting these wet clips allowed me not to suture the entire area. So literally, so Tulio, from here up to here, we have put no stitches. Literally no stitches. Yeah. And oh, we, the only area we put stitches was over here and over here. That's it. So uh, the wet clips do allow us that uh, uh, luxury to minimally, go ahead, uh, put the, the blue glue thing. <clears throat> Excellent. And, and so, you know, in, in our initial couple hundred cases, when we were not, we were just learning this, this was 10, 15 years ago, we uh, did not necessarily uh, undersaw the wet clips, and in two patients, we actually had uh, the wet clip erode into the collecting system as confirmed on ureteroscopy. And since then, uh, uh, we uh, make sure that there is never, ever a stitch on top of a wet clip. Never, ever, ever. Perfect. It's okay, good, thank you. Theory, that looks very nice. Okay, so. Uh, on, only stitches deep to the wet clips, no stitch on top of the wet clip. Let's just start in this one by one. And that's why I like to have the bolster tie be of white color so that there is no such confusion, but that's okay. So just little, little things that uh, Inspire confidence. I'm just trying to make sure each stitch is appropriately going down here. See now, for if this stitch tying the bolster was white, then there would be no confusion between this and this, right? Um, so again, it's not a big deal, but it's again just leads to intraoperative efficiency. Thank you for this detail, it's uh, very important. So you can see now, look at this guys, uh, the line of demarcation has shrunk. Okay, there was some spasm here, but you can see Vincent, uh, all this is nice and pink. Even the post lower yeah. pole. And, and you have to flip the kidney back again, maybe yeah. this, this will help also to yeah. have a better perfusion. Yeah, very good point. Okay, here we go, Wreck me please. When pulling the wick, the stitch, I can't be pulling this way. If I pull it this way, I'll tear through the whole thing. It has to be pulled vertically up. One more wet clip first. It has to be pulled vertically up and away and gently cinched down. Beautiful. Okay, next wet clip, please. Again, has to be pulled vertically away and not towards or it tears. And this has to be reasonably tight because if it's not, then it's a pointless stitch. And if you make it too tight, it'll cut through and then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm.
Cut, please. We will flip it back and make sure the hemostasis is good. Never try and take out two needles at one time. You will lose the needle most of the time and then, so that is a bad shortcut. Needles always should come out one by one. Two needles should not be taken out at the same time. <clears throat> Even if it is a small needle. Clean up the camera, please. Suction. We'll flip the kidney over, see how it looks on the other side. Camera clean, please. Now, if, if this tumor had not been so deep and so much involving the parenchyma, uh, then uh, we could potentially, uh, at least in LA, we would have gone at it initially unclamped, uh, trying to get the uh, vascular. Okay, see, this looks nice and pink too now. See that? Mm -hmm. That's all good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see what the front looks like. Oh, this is that blue glue thing, I guess. Yeah, I'll leave mm -hmm. it there, exactly. I would strongly recommend the suction that we use, suction irrigation. What's that called, right? The what? The striker suction. I would strongly recommend that. Uh, it is disposable. Thank you. Okay. Here's the kidney. Kid, Indy, this was not your applause. We just wait uh, no. until you finish. <laughs> no, no, I was saying thank you to these guys who, uh, here we go. So, here we go. Um, Thank you. So again, I was saying that if this tumor was not as much invading the parenchyma and little smaller, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and little more towards the hilum than this one, then potentially we could have uh, gone at it uh, completely unclamped and thereby uh, the strategy would be to go from the hilum towards the kidney and take every branch that is supplying the tumor and just uh, go into the renal sinus uh, in a Gilvernay's plane and devascularize the tumor that way. But no longer uh, am I doing dissection of the tertiary branches and this and that, none of that stuff. We just, either we clamp right off the bat or we go unclamp, period, and just go straight to the tumor and take only stuff going to the tumor. I would say about 60 to 70 percent of our hyalur medial or even 70 to 80 percent of our hyalur medial uh, uh, tumors uh, are we do on clamp and the lateral tumors we routinely clamp. Nice. Can I have the... Uh, 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 Four by 18, right? Do you have a four by 18? I could mop up. Suction, suction, keep suctioning. Ureteral catheter is something that uh, we use quite often uh, because it just gives us ability to Identify the ureter better. Everybody, you know, the residents and fellows get comfortable with all that dissection. We can use it intraoperatively to inject, confirm. 
Another one of these, please. You can take this one out. Your suction is not very good. That's why I'm doing this. Here you go. Get this out. But the striker suction works like a champion, really does. It has high pressure irrigation, high pressure suction, and really does what it means. Here we go. Good. Okay, this looks very good, so let's not mess with this guy. That looks very good. As far as the vascularity is concerned, you can see lower pole, all good. This area, lower blue. Lower pole is fine. This, this, pole, this area is blue, posteriorly only, but the rest of it looks very good. Upper part, really, no issues. Maybe a teeny bit, but not really. I mean, all this looks A-OK -okay to me. Anteriorly, looks totally good. Let's check this out. OK, nephropexy stitch, please. OK, this looks beautiful. Just, this is yeah. just hematoma we've beaten on the kidney. That's it. OK, nephropexy stitch, it is very important to put two nephropexy stitches, not one, two, to make sure there is no torquing of the kidney, and thereby causing infarction. Just one stitch is not enough. It can torque around one stitch, so it has to be a two-point fixation. Go ahead. Cut it, please. One more stitch. Drain ready. V lock is fine. Anything is fine. Drain ready, please. Got it. Thank you. I just wanted to once again uh, thank uh, Thierry and Richard and Vito, of course, always, always, for the kind invitation and the friendship and the incredible leadership they have shown in, uh, in spreading the word about robotic surgery and training people. Here we go. Also, my colleague Rai Dazer, as I mentioned earlier, is really the superstar now in the Middle East. In the past 14 months, he has done 150 robotic cases in Riyadh and Jeddah, and uh, is at this point the highest volume robotic surgeon. Okay, it's fine. All right, suction here. Excellent. All right, Jackson Pratt drain, please. India, I would say we have to congratulate you for this really challenging case and uh, what you have done. So thank you very much for showing us what is possible and uh, also in these cases. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You got it? Right? Hindi? Huh? Hindi? Yes, sir. Is Vito? Yes. Beautiful, 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 <laughs> beautiful. You are, you are beautiful, Vito. You are beautiful. No, I was just in the traffic to reach the hospital. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because I had to, to keep things starting there. But, yeah, of course, uh, of course. I think it was very, very nice, especially from the beginning, to see how you were showing the case and the vascularity and all that. Right. And I think it was a big lesson for a lot of people. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, no. Vito. Thank you always.